Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at the Soviet Indoor Props asset from the Unity Asset Store. Now, the overall quality of this is something that intrigues me because I kind of like the detail on a lot of um, kind of Soviet designs, especially in video games. So that was what attracted me to this asset. And as I always like with assets, it comes with a nice demo scene. I really can't fault the demo scene at all. So, quantity-wise, there is quite a bit here, and in all fairness, I think there's more than you would think is actually in this package. And, I mean, look at it. You've got these cool little refrigerators, swaying scales. I like the TV. I think that was the thing that really intrigued me, the TV. I just think the design of that is really kind of cool. There's some kind of weird sled, some milk jug things. There's even, like, battery cigars and kettles and just loads of stuff. Now, like I say, with the quality, the quality is pretty decent. I think it's modeled quite well and it looks visually nice. But again, it's always down to you to kind of make these a bit more customizable and kind of work with them a little bit. So, for example, if we take these refrigerators here and go into the uh, materials, we can change things like the normal map, for example. Let's really bump that normal map up a bit. And you can see just how much of a difference that makes. But that's not the end of it. You could always change the normal map to be grayscale, for example. Click apply and then see just how rotten and horrible they look. So it's something you could actually work with. Same with these milk carton, jug bottle things, whatever. Play around with everything you possibly can. That is what these assets are meant for. They're meant to be customizable like that. And you can make them look really nitty and gritty and like you would expect for a Soviet kind of feel in this day and age. So I think these would probably be well suited to if you're making, for example, something like a Metro clone or maybe Stalker clone, something of that style, kind of maybe a little bit post-apocalyptic in some ways, but maybe not all. But definitely I think it's worth playing around with them as well a little bit to see what you can come up with design-wise. So price is free you really can't fault free i think it's a great asset to be free the size is actually quite large you now that's 483 megabytes so just under 500 megabytes keep in mind though the texture sizes are quite detailed so you know of course it's going to be large if the uh, the text sizes are large and uh, quite detailed so extras wise i think there is a couple of little things in here which it, the asset page doesn't really do it justice. There's a little bit more in here than what you would think. Like this, uh, the, the tools, the little bits and bobs, the batteries, like I say. Little extras here and there. Uh, it's all neatly laid out in the folder as well, and I quite like that. Everything is very organized. I like organized assets because it helps me find things quickly and easily. And obviously it's got pre-made scene as well, so that makes things even easier. What more can I say on that? So its usefulness is, is, is quite good because even if you're not making that style of game, you may find something in here of use. For example, if we look at the TV, we could use that for something. Oh, it's got these like little handheld game things right here. They don't necessarily have to be involved in any kind of Soviet thing. And then you've got tools as well. They certainly could be used in almost anything. So I'd say as an overall package is really, really good. So you guys know I don't rate assets. I like to recommend them or not recommend them. And yes, I would recommend this asset, not only if you're making a Soviet style game, uh, like a post-apocalyptic style maybe as well, but you'll find something here for almost any game you're trying to make. So it may be worth actually downloading this asset and having a quick look around and see what you can find, because I guarantee you'll find something of use that you wouldn't expect. So guys, have you used this asset? What are your thoughts on it? Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, click subscribe and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I have about video game development on my channel. And if you've got anything on the asset store, any assets, whether it's free or paid, please let me know. I'd like to check them out. And with that, thank you very much for watching, guys.